There's another aspect to the storage box ground clearance. Doug says that if you draw a line from the bottom of the front tire to the top of the front jack on the underside of the trailer, nothing should be below that line to avoid the possibility of it getting hit on uneven ground. You can see here that even though the storage box looks quite low, it's still above our line by about three and a half inches. So now I've got the storage box mounted. The last step is to rearrange the sewer pipe to line up with a hole I'll cut in the side of the storage box where our Wastemaster hose will connect. A big part of this entire kit is the new hose, which now has a 4 to 1 collapse ratio instead of the old 3 to 1. Check out the difference in length of the old and the new. That's important because it allows you to access more of those not so conveniently located dump points. Another feature of the new hose is that it snaps into place and stays there as you expand or bend the hose. The old model didn't do that. One other part supplied in the kit is this little device that will allow air to automatically enter or exit your hose when the discharge valve end is closed. I mean, if your dump valve is closed and the dump station end of your hose fitting has its valve closed, the hose isn't going to expand or contract very well. The air has to be able to get in and out, and that's the function of this device, which is threaded into the cam lock fitting and should be mounted vertical on the top side. Of course, you could simply eliminate this device and crack open this valve a little bit, but that tends to defeat the need of keeping your holding tank fluids off the ground and into the dump station. The kit also comes with a length of hose that allows you to remotely locate the vent if necessary.